Scott represented in that very important question, Gina, definitely, and also on this cool little graphic here <laughs> as he's enjoying a week off on his birthday week. Today is a field trip Friday, and we are now taking you down south this morning, driving to Vail, Arizona. That's where Yetta traveled. It's near Tucson, and she went into an under she went underground to a colossal cave mountain park. So take a look. Our 3TV drone flying high over Vail, Arizona, a hidden gem here in our state near Tucson. Not only are the views beautiful, but there is something here you would never expect, a colossal cave. Masks have to stay on the whole time, above the nose, below the chin, and taut to the face. I brought the family to this assignment, a two-hour drive south from Phoenix to explore the three and a half miles of underground history. We just don't want to handle or touch any of the rock structures we see inside. Oil and sweat on our hands can be permanently damaging, and we'll see examples of that. We got our special instructions. All right, it's time to go in. You ready, guys? Yep. Let's do it. You scared? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm not scared. And we were in. Downstairs and ducking through dark, narrow crevices, it's a kid's paradise. This was all one solid block of limestone. Matt, our tour guide, told us the history and explained all of the details of this cave that was formed millions of years ago. As we go down the stairs, please watch your head. If you are any taller than me, our largest stalactite fang hangs right in the middle of the stairs. What's the temperature in here? 71 degrees Fahrenheit all year round. There are critters down here, bats, of course, but don't worry, they do not bother you during the tour. So here we are about 30 feet down into the cave and we've come to this, uh, what they call the waterfall. And basically you can tell there was a waterfall here, but over the course of hundreds and hundreds of years, it left behind this beautiful formation and you can tell exactly where it was. It's almost like you can hear the water here. The lowest point underground, 60 feet below where we parked our car. Down here is where Matt says Disney, National Geographic, and even Sesame Street shot scenes. This is our movies and popcorn room. Why is it called that? So we've had 19 different productions happen down here in the cave. And it's no wonder. We were in awe exploring Mother Nature's creation deep within the hills, one of Arizona's best kept underground secrets. That is so cool. The entire cave tour is about three and a half miles. So uh, Yed was only able to see about 10% of it or so. It's a good workout, she says, you know, walking around, getting up and down through all the grooves, but very worth it because of the pandemic, by the way. They have limited numbers of guests accessible. So uh, they're still doing them every single day, but they are booked out. The tours start at less than 20 bucks for adults and you got to imagine a little steamy maybe in there, but definitely cooler, right, April? Yeah, well, she said in the 70s. I mean, we're daydreaming about the 70s. Yeah.